Hey guys, what's going on? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Q, and we are Bubba back for another interview. Before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell to get the notifications of the best people in the ATL and all over that I'm bringing in. You already see this beautiful foxy lady sitting beside me. We have the lovely KK from Loving Hip Hop Atlanta in the field. Hey, you guys. First of all, let's just say we both hot, so we both already about to get naked before the interview Very already naked. starts. So we've been just kicking it off camera, but I feel I feel like I've known you for a while now. You know how you just meet somebody and they give good vibes? I feel like I got a good aunt in the room with me, a good grandma, good mom, good big sister. I'm about to whip his ass about that grandma shit. Well, I mean, no. It's a sexy grandma, though. It's like milk, but like jilf. <laughs> so, KK, what's going on with you? How you been? I've been amazing. You oh. look amazing. Yeah, yes. Ooh. Yeah. I've been amazing. I really have. So, before we even get into the love and hip-hop and all that, Karen, no, we're going to get into your book and a whole lot of other things that you have going on. But let's back up and let's learn KK before love and hip-hop. So, where'd you come from and all that good, good, Karen, no. Oh, my God. KK before love and hip-hop mm -hmm. was like an amazing diva. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm I from California. See that. Okay. I've been in Georgia. I guess. Let me see. Scraps 31. I've been in Georgia like 27 years. Okay. And i just been having one entrepreneurial, amazing experience mm -hmm. after another. You know, in Georgia, you could do any damn thing you want. Black people are, yeah. can take it by storm if need be. Yeah, but you know what? I never thought at the end of the rainbow was TV. Mm -hmm. It was just this good thing, that good thing. Then it was TV. So, KK, let me ask you a question. I know there's sometimes a lot of controversy behind your family and a lot of things that you guys have going on. Some people would even consider your family to be like a mob family. If mob wives or the mob family type shows, if they were to ever give you and your family a call, would you accept or deny? I would definitely accept. <laughs> and tell me why real quick. Well, I, then I then I would think we were properly placed, mm -hmm. you know. Properly placed. Properly placed. <laughs> I think that'd be an amazing storyline mm -hmm. for y'all. Yeah, absolutely. It would be fun. Hey, Renee. So, KK, when you Google KK, there's so much that comes behind your name, and I love how open you are about discussing your past and the mm -hmm. things that you've been through. And one thing I, I love about you, and one thing that I respect about you is. You always tell your story before you give somebody else an opportunity to air your story. So you mm -hmm. always stay in front of it. And that's what I tell anybody who jumps into reality TV. Stay in front of the story and keep control of it. How has it been dealing, being on reality TV for all these years and just seeing your personal, personal, personal life and the whole world knows it? Um, well, you know, my past... Mm -hmm is my present. Anything I've been through in my life mm -hmm. makes me the Who woman mm -hmm. that I am right now. Right. Nothing of which I'm ashamed of. Yes. So, I mean, I've done everything but be a prostitute. Mm -hmm. uh, am I ashamed of anything? Hell no. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Yeah. Because I did whatever I thought was necessary to do. Mm-hmm to be at a level of, of life that I wanted to be at, mm -hmm. and especially for my children. So all I can say to people is, if I had to do it all over again, I absolutely would. Mm -hmm. That's going to prison. I didn't break the law to go to prison, but if I was caught, I had to go. Yeah. So um, to get really more details, you gotta get my book. Yes. It's called Do You Know Me? Mm -hmm. it's oh, gonna... hold. We're going to go there. No. I'm okay. just, I mean, this is a part I'm of my to... past. Okay. I'm getting it all in. Okay. And i got to tell you when it's dropping. May 26th on my birthday. Here it is. <laughs> so, let's get into behind the scenes going crazy back here. <laughs> Are you excited about your son being home? I interviewed Scrap last week and he just adores you. Are you excited about him being home? I'm excited about him adoring me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very excited he's home. Mm -hmm. So one question that I asked Scrap last week um, was about his hookup with Moniz. I asked him, was it just for love and hip hop 
or was it something that you know he really was seeking after and he said actually my mom had her hand in the pot and so you actually hooked well was you know trying to force Monice on to scrap is that true or false uh oh you know I'm not gonna I don't have to say true or false this is what I want to say yes when scrap is like looking for love not really like <clears throat> But, you know, he'd be like, Ma, you know, I need somebody. Blah. I just don't, you know, because my kids, mm -hmm. they're great fathers. Yes. And they want to be great husbands. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to choose wrong. You know, and, and people say, you always want somebody like your parent. Like, mm -hmm. you probably would want, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I know for real, my sons. Mm -hmm. Would like somebody a woman like you, like me, mm -hmm. you know. So I said, Well, you know, son, my friend Moniz, yeah, she got her shit together because mm -hmm. I watch Moniz grow from the show, mm -hmm. and I think she's a strong young woman. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they weren't compatible, right? Because that's how men are, mm -hmm. not because she wasn't a good pick, yeah. I just want to say that. Speaking of, you know, choosing wives and everything like that, Scrap shared with me that he's a Muslim. So he, he believes in multiple wives. As his mother, what is your take on him bringing home? You meet T one week, you meet Monice the next, Sarah the next, she, she tomorrow, Pam the next day. I don't think it's multiple wives. I think it's multiple bullshit. <laughs> I don't support it. So, so you feel like it's an excuse to just do what you want to do, or do you don't believe in the whole Muslim behind it? No, scrap is a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in that. Shit. Okay, I don't. I don't support it. Uh, what is it? Polygamy? Mm -hmm. um, don't let me lie on camera. I mean, just for us, if mm -hmm. you were trying, you, me, anybody was trying to be married a yeah. bunch of times, yeah, it's polygamy. Mm -hmm. I can't have ten husbands. Mm -hmm. Why should you be able to have ten, ten wives? wives? Correct. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So have you had this conversation with him, or you just kind of let him do his thing? And... You know, um, my kids are very aggressive mm -hmm. about me staying out of their business. Mm -hmm. They always like to blame the bad mistakes on me. Yes, yeah. it's, it's okay. Yeah. You know, because I was the only parent. Mm -hmm. Just blame the shit on me. I got it. <laughs> uh, but I let them do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. I don't voice. I don't say nothing. I just let them do what they want. And when it go bad, come get me. I got you. Speaking of multiple wives and multiple girls and all that thing like that, I know a few weeks ago you went live. And, you know, it was very heated. It was very controversial. And you was like on 10,000. And I was like, go, auntie, go, auntie, go. Where do you and Tiara stand today? We don't stand. We, don't we stand. on the ground. We Oh. Have you did you did you ever get that ride to Blue Fine? Blue Fine? I, I got the ride to Blue Fine. You stay tuned. You are gonna see the ride to Blue Fine. I got the ride to Blue Fine. Mm -hmm. So why do you feel like you guys continue to bump heads? Because she's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She, I'm not her peer. Mm -hmm. I'm Scrap's mother. mother correct. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, to me, you don't never hold. I don't. I. It's clear. I don't like her. Okay. I don't like her. She doesn't like me. We clear on that. I don't yeah. got to whoop your ass because I don't like, like you. you. And you don't got to try to whoop me because mm -hmm. you don't like me. Because you can't whoop me. Try. Mm -hmm. But we could pass by each other like this. And it still be cordial. We don't have to be disrespectful. No, we ain't going to be nothing. Yeah. We could pass. Do you understand? Yes, I, I don't want to intentionally disrespect her because she has my grandson. Correct. And I don't want my grandson to go to school and because I'm in the public eye. And people say, oh, I heard your grandmother cuss out your... No. Yeah. I love my grandson mm -hmm. first and foremost before anything. Yes, the hype and all the bullshit. Yes, ma'am. So I love my grandson. So I try to keep the ass whooping to a minimum. Minimum. <laughs> you know, I try. You try. But it's hard sometimes. Oh, not with the innocent face. Mm -hmm. It's hard sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so we love you. But we also love another good friend of yours. 
you and Mama D are like oh. homegirls. No, that, that's my bad me. <laughs> Please tell me your most wildest memory of you and Mama D. What's the when people say Mama D? What's the first craziest thing that comes to your mind? That one. <sighs> Well, she had a birthday not long ago mm -hmm. at a strip club. Uh -huh. Is it Claremont's or, know you know, I mean. it's a old, like a legendary strip club. Mm -hmm. Like it's women over 50. Okay. It's here. Stripping? Yes, it's a sight. <laughs> but in my mind just see a bunch of, it's just all over the place. It is. <laughs> okay. It's, did Mama D get on stage? She did. Wow, I missed it. Well, I'm kind of glad you know, I missed it. If you it. missed it, you could go back. Is it episode two of this year's season eight? Really? You get a peek of it. A mm -hmm. peek. But mm -hmm. you being there. I've seen everything. You've seen everything. So, how did you get wrapped up in love and hip hop? Um, well, you know, my kids were in the industry as types, mm -hmm. young children. Right. Um, and I always want to say that I've been knowing Mona, mm -hmm. shit, since is 25, mm -hmm. like 18 years. Really? I've been knowing Mona 18 years. Okay. And uh, we work with Missy, Missy Elliott, mm -hmm. and all the stuff. I mean, it was just a inside tie. Uh -huh. I don't know how the boys got, somebody DM'd them or whatever, mm -hmm. but when they went down to that interview, they said, hey, we love y'all. Yeah. But you got to bring your mama. Bring your too. mama. Mm -hmm. So when I found out Mona was behind it, I was like, well, did Mona say that? Or, I never knew if Mona mm -hmm. said it or not, but I do know that we have past history. Do you do you agree with coming onto this platform? You know, TV. <laughs> <laughs> with my past, TV wasn't good for me. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Uh, because I was in Atlanta living like a perfect mommy. Uh, I'm not soccer mom, mm -hmm. but just a mommy. Yeah. Just a neighborhood, not ghetto neighborhood, and no offense to anybody, <laughs> but just a neighborhood mom. All the kids want to come, get in the pool, play with my kids. So when this, when the show came out and they presented me as this mob boss, this gangster, and I, it ruined my reputation mm -hmm. of who I was as a person that they thought. Yeah. You know, I'm a Gemini, so it's almost like I was two people, mm -hmm. and they couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, this lady's been in our house, she's been with our kids, and she did this, or mm -hmm. she did, so it was hard for me. I mean, I've been on the show five years, and it took me like, I'm just now, this past year, mm -hmm able to like clean my name up get mm -hmm. the respect yeah. that was once there so it was a struggle for me well we definitely love you on the show and we can ready to slide out of it in just a second but i have one last hip-hop love hip-hop question outside of your own storyline who's your favorite character or who is your favorite storyline that you love to see the couple either come on to the screen or who's your favorite person that you just like to watch of this season nobody Nobody. <laughs> Good gracious. No, I'm just saying. No, you know what? Favorite couple. It used to be Rashida and Kirk until mm -hmm. Kirk cheated. When did he, has he not? I mean, I didn't know it publicly. So oh, okay. sometimes what's done in the dark is better left in the dark. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I always say that Rashida is a better bitch than me. Yes. Because I'd have been cut Kirk's head off. Period. Mm -hmm. She is bad. Mm -hmm. She bad. Absolutely. So they was my perfect love and hip hop couple mm -hmm. period mm -hmm. until Kurt hurt me mm -hmm. this baby. <laughs> he hurt all of us Kurt yeah. you hurt oh, we were rooting for you yeah he, he hurt <laughs> all of us <laughs> so Kurt hurt me so you know yeah but they were my favorite couple and my favorite talent I don't know I just love all laugh. the hip hop you, you love um, them all. I do yeah. I do I love them all I, I love to see the growth I just love to see Black people at regular life level mm -hmm. on TV. Mm -hmm. I just think the whole show is amazing. I wish I wasn't on it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I want to ask you a personal question yes. because I see this old big old rock on his hand over mm -hmm. here. Go on, show it to him. Go. Oh, 
Oh, it just looks so heavy. I see why your gun's so so big because the rock's so heavy. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's going on with this ring. You know, he plays so dirty. <laughs> I just told him off camera. I, you know, I really don't know this guy's personality, so I'm not going to talk about him too bad, or, you know, publicly. But um, this was a uh, engagement ring. Oops. And we were uh, engaged. And we, you know, we're probably working it out. And I'm going to just leave. We're going to leave it at that. So I can see a little nice little spin off. You KK can. walking down the aisle. God, I think you are hilarious. Uh, you know what I think our spin off should be? What? The King family, like it or not. Mm -hmm. Say it in the camera. We'll just put it in the atmosphere one more yeah. time. I, I think our spin off should be The King family, like it or yeah. not. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah, absolutely. Cause you guys have a lot going on. Too much. I mean, each kid plus you, the 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 grandkids are growing up. The grandkids are growing up. I got a damn daughter-in-law that's a porn star. <laughs> you know, it just goes from one thing, you know, to another, the extreme. Yeah, one thing to the next. Another person in the family is a damn uh, nun, a porn star nun, and then me. You got a Muslim. 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 What? And then I, I have my oldest son saying, I believe in Akbar, Allah, Jesus, whoever is working today. You know. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh my goodness, KK, I'm cracking up. Let's get into the book. Coming out on your birthday. Coming out on your birthday. Coming out on your birthday. Let's get into it. Yeah. Sitting down writing a book, how was? did you know you were writing a book or were you just like a journalist and then flipped it into a book? Well, I was going through a trial about, I want to say 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and I was so scared that I was going to do a life sentence. I just started writing every day, you know, every day. It seemed like court was every day, every day, every day. So every day I was writing. Mm -hmm. I was writing a letter to the judge. Before I knew it, it was like 300 pages. I mm -hmm. said, he's not going to read this. Mm -hmm. He did it. And I didn't go to prison. Wow. Yeah. He read oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. I never knew that. Yeah. He read it, and I didn't go to prison. Because he didn't know me. You know. You wrote a letter to the judge. Yeah. He read the entire book. He read it. And he told me he read it when court started. And that's what made you get off. I feel that it played a major, a major part, part because I went to trial and I was found guilty. Were you honest and told like your side? I, I told I told everything. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It it wasn't really like a crime mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, because I was doing business legally through my bank and mm -hmm. all the stuff, you know. But I went to trial, and if I'm a give you an example, if because I'm gonna let y'all know the story. If I'm a golfer. Mm -hmm. And you play basketball, you don't know a damn thing about golf, right. correct? So I was doing international business, and the people on the jury were post office people, mm -hmm. uh, work at the restaurant, a mm -hmm. school teacher. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything about international business. Yeah. You're not my peer. And they always say you go to trial amongst your peers. No, they just pick people and send them a letter in the mail and say, hey, mm -hmm. you got jury duty. Mm -hmm. You don't screen them to see if they're really my peer. So these people come up with their own assumption, not even knowing anything about what you're really doing. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So I was doing international business. These people didn't know anything about it. All they knew is I had a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And they said she guilty. And the judge, he didn't go with that. And the story is bigger, and it's in the book. You know what else is in the book? Everything that has been out. That has been out. Everything that people want to know. Mainly, the biggest story is I paid my children to kill their father. To assassinate their father. Mm. That is the biggest story in the book. So make sure you get it. And if you'd like to read it. Before it comes out, I email it to you. Please, I would love to. <laughs> so give us a date and give us the title of the book one more time. The name of the book is Do You Know Me? And listen, and after you read it, get in my DM, get in this DM. I want everybody to know, everybody to let me know. Do Amen. you really know me or you don't? What you think? The day is coming out. It's May 26th on my birthday. I'm going to have an amazing book signing. If you read the book. And then you read it before it comes out. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a big special on Love & Hip Hop. 
I would love to help you, cover. Yeah, no, I'm gonna invite you so Please you can come do. and tell me what you got out the book. Let me so. go there, cute. <laughs> KK, give us one 2019 nugget to get us through the rest of the year. What's that one scripture? What's that one quote? That one saying that you live by that just carries you out throughout the day? Well, you know, it's not really pertaining to me because I always give so much to other people mm -hmm. other than myself. Yes. So the one thing for me that's really big, you know, I didn't know Nipsey Hussle. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know his name. I didn't know nothing about him. Yeah. But when his, you know, you see it on the news or whatever, and when I seen that, it reminded me of my nephew, Dino. Okay. And so the one thing that I would like to say is black mothers love your black sons. Yes. Love your black sons. Mm -hmm. Teach them, let them grow, make their self-esteem as best as you can make it grow, because a black man was president. Mm -hmm. Obama. Yes. Anybody black can be president, can wear those shoes. Stop wasting your life. Make sure you guys are continuing to watch Love and Hip Hop. Make sure you guys go out and get KK's book. I am just more in love from what I already was with you. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by, chit chatting with me. And uh, I'm glad you like the space. I love the space. This is amazing. Y'all better pay attention. Some real shit going on here. All right, guys. Make sure you like. Comment, subscribe, make sure you follow on KK. KK, where can they find you on social media? Um, my Instagram is I'm the Queen Karen King. My Twitter is I'm Karen King. Um, my Facebook is also I'm Karen King. Periscope, I don't damn know, so hey. And follow KK for this body plan, this diet, because she looks amazing. All right, y'all, it's your boy. At 60. I'm ooh, sorry. S, ooh, S, just, just rub it off on me a little. Ooh, black don't <laughs> crack, y'all. That's so good. Thank you so much. I You're am in love. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Q. Follow me on all my social media outlets at Quentin T. Harris. And we out. The ring was given to me by uh, Potential, but I Whoa. found out he didn't have no money. So I said, oh, no, I ain't going to take care of your ass. Always. So, and then I, I don't know how he afforded the ring because the show made uh. me, the show made me go get it appraised and shit. They was gonna have the whole whoopie whoop on the show. Mm -hmm. So it was he six real, figures. He got the real deal. Yeah, he got the real deal. It's it was six figures. It was six figures. But then after I really seen his bank account, I said, "Did he steal this shit?" I'm so I just did, yeah scammed it probably. It would be the it's, lady up to right off the uh -huh, So it's cool. I'm gonna keep it because uh, it's in my time. Period. But it's good to have because when people like me, guys, you be like, boy, uh huh, and they see it and they say, <laughs> I gotta do better. Than I about to say, and then yeah. if you gonna come, I need like double that on my finger. Yeah, I need yeah, like the whole yeah. phone. That, there you go, bro. Period.